Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. It's been a while since I did a daily rewards claim. So this is a daily rewards claim for Sunday, June 4th. I um, only have three chests on my main account. Been struggling to get out of Silver 3. So just barely made it into Silver 2. So let's hope I can keep going the next couple of days, get back to Silver 1. So only have three chests to claim, so let's get started. Well, that's a good start. Epic card, Idri Fire. Alchemy Potion, ooh, and a Gold Damaki Orc. So I guess if you're only going to get three chests, you want to get a Gold Common and an Epic card. Stealth is the focus for tomorrow. I want to see if I already had that card or not. Oh, yes, I did. Actually, I've got it level two. So these are the Epics that I have currently. And let's look at Gold Foil. So that's the second Demaki Orc. Don't really play this card much, but always glad to get gold foils because maybe this will be a card that ends up getting put on land. Okay, so if I combine that, he will get an extra attack. So go ahead and do that. And then head on over to the $10 account where I had a great day yesterday grinding. I managed to get the most chests I've gotten in quite a while. So we'll head on over there. Actually, first, let's see if I can claim my SPS for the day. So I posted a video yesterday about my idea for dual splinter cards that are created through card burning and DEC burning. So if you guys haven't checked that out, please let me know uh, your comments, um, improvements on the idea, if you like the idea, if you don't like the idea. I just thought it was a good way to um, continue the DEC burn. Maybe it could be the great burn 2.0, way to get rid of a lot of DEC and uh, a way to create some cards that's kind of unique where you can't get them in packs. You basically create the cards that you want. Okay, so I do have SPS to claim. Looks like I haven't claimed in a couple days, so got my land rewards to claim. So <clears throat> slowly building the SPS bank back up. We'll head on over to the alt account now after Vruz is done doing his thing. So let's log out, log into Gedfer, who is coming up on the one year anniversary. So next Saturday, June 10th, will be the one year anniversary of my $10 account. So I'll do a big recap on my progression after the first year, uh, things that I would do differently if I could start all over again. So I'll look for that next Saturday. Okay, so we've got 15 bronze chests to claim, 37 for the season. So on average, we should get five cards. Uh, summoners I'm hoping for, I think I need two of the Earth and one of the Death Summoner. And after that, it's basically just hoping to somehow get uh, Epics and Legendaries. Because so I think all my commons are maxed out. There's a Grunt. A little bit of SPS in the first row. Some more SPS. Wow, a lot of SPS was just very small amounts. Coastal Sentry for card number two. Another Swamp Spitter, more SPS, Wily Coyote. Okay, let's see if I'll jinx it in the last two. So we've opened 13 chests. We've got no potions and no merits. So will these last two be a potion and a merit? There's a potion. Nope, Possess Puppet. So we did get five cards. Got five common cards, unfortunately, where I don't think I need any of those. So we've got five... Go back to my list. So we had 15 chests that we opened today. As you can see, that's the most in quite a while. Five cards. So we've now opened a total of... We've gotten 359 cards out of 1,273. 
chess. Okay, so is there any SPS to claim on this account? So my thoughts with my $10 account is probably just try to play this as much as I can. And I was thinking about it yesterday. There really is no limit to how much you can play a bronze account now. Because even if you use all of your energy, I think the cost is only, what, one DEC to get more energy? And you're still staying at 100% reward share. So I'm going to try to grind this as much as I can and get as many chests as I can. And I, what I would love to do, even though I don't know if it's possible, if I'll have the time, but eventually by end of season, get at least 100 bronze chests. I've never gotten 100, so I want to see if that's possible. Uh, on the Splinter Forge front, uh, my new account, I was finally able to purchase my first item for the common hero. Uh, currently working on the bronze boss. It's at 44%, so probably die sometime tomorrow. Uh, the problem is it's got shields, so that's taking it uh, a lot longer to take damage and die. The good news is the longer this boss goes, the higher the four gym rewards, as long as you can stay on the leaderboards. So that is Splinter Forge. Let's do a quick update on the market. Everything I think is slightly lower over the last couple days. SPS I believe it's still holding above two cents. Yep, DEC, 83 cents per thousand, so that's pretty good. Chaos packs, still incredibly cheap at $1.21. Uh, the part token for Gum Overlord, a little over four cents. So part and shard seem to be hovering around the four to five cent range. So. If you're interested in playing Gollum Overlord and you want to kind of uh, pump up your hero, you don't have to put a lot of money into the game to get a ton of part. You really don't need shards at this point unless um, you want to just stock up for when NFTs go live or if you need some to help with the guild upgrades. Uh, Forgium, right around 19 20 cents uh, per thousand. So that's kind of low. Vouchers, you know, guy, you guys know how I feel about vouchers. Six cents. To me, is a steal, so as I can, I'm slowly going to accumulate more of those. And is there anything else of interest? Oh, where are Rift Watcher packs at? Rift Watchers, 418, still holding pretty solid there. Okay, guys, there you have it. There's the opening for today, a little bit of market news. Um, as always, hope you guys are doing well. If there's any topics you would like me to cover, please leave those in the comments below. I'll probably do another video later today, so stay tuned for that. And until then, remember, keep on forging.